Let's try a couple of rounds of the game, starting in Chapter 1, Brahms Garden. Setup. Place page 1 of the adventure sheet in front of you, chapters 1 and 2 face up. Place all dice next to the adventure sheet. Grab a pencil or a pen. I've placed the sheet in a clear plastic sleeve, so I can use a wet erase marker. Prepare the relic deck. You will only be using basic relic cards for Chapter 1, so remove cards with special symbols at the top. Shuffle the relic deck and place it face down. This will be a draw deck as you discover relics during the game. Set the red and blue dice aside as they will not be used in Chapter 1. Take the 12 sided Doom die, roll it, and place it on the Doom space. Setup is finished. Round 1. Phase 1. Roll the dice in your dice pool, consisting of the 4 movement dice and the 4 sided luck die. Round 1. Phase 2. Activate exactly 3 movement dice one at a time. You will discard the 4th movement die that you don't use later. Start on any footprint space. There is only one choice in Chapter 1. It's important to note that the Doom Die will determine which relic is destroyed at the end of the round, so this can inform your strategy. To activate a movement die, choose one of them, set it aside. It is now considered spent. Then, move in any direction that number of spaces in an orthogonal direction, not diagonal. You can't move through blocked spaces or barriers. Draw a line from your current space to the destination space. After completing your move, if you have moved through a relic, draw a relic card and place it face up in front of you. Read the card's power. These powers can be used to mitigate dice, affect movement, and otherwise change the rules in your favor. You can use a face-up relic at any time, using its power, and then turning it face down to show it has been used. Now you must activate your second movement die. Form your strategy based on where you want to go and the dice you have available. Watch out for traps. They advance the terror track, explained later. You can't move into spaces you've already moved through, so plan carefully. The luck die can be paired with a movement die and either adds or subtracts its value to the movement die. It's optional to use, but it can only be used once per round. In this example, the luck die subtracts 3 from the 6, resulting in a movement of 3. Next, activate your third die. In this case, we move two spaces and must move through a trap. Each trap advances the terror track by 1. We also gain a relic, the Agility Necklace. We must now discard the fourth movement die that we did not use. Round 1, Phase 3. Brahm uses the Doom Die to hinder your quest. In Chapter 1, the relic matching the number on the Doom Die is destroyed. Cross it off. You can no longer collect this relic, and the space is now blocked. Round 1, Phase 4. Your sense of terror grows. 
rotate the Doom die to the next highest number, which is a 10, and advance the Terror track by 1. Round 2. Phase 1. Now we begin a new round. Starting with Phase 1, roll dice. Roll your dice pool again to begin this second round. Notice that you start fresh with a new set of dice each round. Round 2, Phase 2. The Doom die shows a 10, meaning that Relic 10 will be destroyed if we do not collect it this round. It's close, so let's try. Our dice pool, though, is not very favorable to our plan here. However, we have the Agility Necklace Relic, which allows us to change directions any number of times during a single movement. If we add the Luck die, which is a 3, to the 5 movement die, it will give us a movement of 8. Turn the used relic card face down after using it, and then move. Notice that we could change directions as we move the eight spaces. Relic cards can make all the difference when timed correctly. We managed to grab Relic 10 so it will not be destroyed. Let's draw a Relic card. It's the Rogue Cloak which allows us to ignore traps, or at least their negative effects. We have two more dice to activate. We cannot use the three, as it will force us to move illegally, so we are left with the two ones. While not ideal, at least we're not trapped. We could have moved on to the trap for the last move, which would have been a strategic setup for moving to the teleport next round, if we wanted to. Now we discarded the fourth die. In round two, phase three, the relic 10 has been collected, so it is not destroyed by Brahm. In round two, phase four, we rotate the doom die to the next highest number and advance the terror track by one. Each chapter has its unique win conditions, in addition to escaping the maze. In Chapter 1, you must also collect the Orb of Ice, which moves around and can only be collected from the location number matching the face of the Doom Die. In the case of Round 3, the Orb will be located on Orb Space 11. Then in Round 4... The Doom Die will rotate to 12, so therefore, the Orb will also move to Space 12. If you must ever tick the Skull Box on the Terror Track, you run screaming from the Fortress and you have lost the game. If you want an easier game, ignore the first Skull Box and use the extended Terror Track, represented by the additional two blue boxes, with the final Skull being the Lose Condition. Oh, and... Don't forget to name your character. Your title will be determined, at the end of the game, based on your score. This will happen at the end of Chapter 4. Be willing to make sacrifices in the game, such as relics, optimal movements, and so forth. Be diligent, patiently develop your strategy, and you will defeat Brahm. And above all, enjoy the adventure!